on, but it was by the grace of God that God smiled on us. God blessed us. God brought us. And he didn't bring us this far to leave us. And that's why we got to be committed today. That's why we got to be sincere today. That's why we got to be honest today that you and I must be committed to the call the Lord has called upon our life. We need all the committed soldiers in the St. Mark Church to make up in your mind. Come hell or high water. If they don't show, I'm going to show up every Sunday. I'm going to bless the name of the Lord. If I don't get there on Sunday and I got to sit by my bedside, I'm going to call on him anyway. I'm going to bless his name because he kept me. See, there come a time you gotta, you can't let location stop you. They, they come a time in life you got to go on what you have. You can't stop because folk won't come by to see about you. You can't stop because folk won't pay you no man. So be it. I'm, I'm doing the best I can with what I got, but I'm going to give God praise. Because he let me open my eyes another time this morning. And I owe him praise for that right now. Oh, yes, you do. That's why we ought to be committed to what the Lord has called us to do. Uh, Caleb was concerned about... About. He didn't want concern about the other ten. He didn't just told Joshua, "If you just give me this mountain, we'll be able, we'll be able to overcome this mountain." I know the God of Abraham. I know the God of Isaac. I know the God of Jacob. I know the God of Moses. And I'm just as strong now as I was then. What Cato was talking about was my heart is strong. My conviction is still strong. My determination is still strong. I'm not going back up because. I'm an old man. I'm going to stand up even stronger now. I was 40 years old when Moses made that promise to her. Now 45 years have gone by and I still have gotten the promise. But my faith is solid and firm. And I come to challenge somebody here this morning. It doesn't matter how long you've been around here. Keep your faith solid and firm. It doesn't matter if you can't walk like you used to. Stand up and rock a little bit. But keep your faith solid and strong. Make up your mind. I'm going to give it all I got with what I got. All I can can't holler like I used to. My voice is not what it used to be, but every time I get a chance to stand at that microphone and open my mouth, I'm going to do it with every committed fiber that's within my body because the Lord! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, bless his name. You see, you see, you got to be wholehearted. You got to make up in your mind. You, you see, when it talks about, when he says wholehearted, it means all that's within a person's heart. All that's within a person's mind, body, and soul, and strength. You remember Jesus even said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy strength, with all thy might, with all thy mind. You shall love him with all you got. And you see, when you're going to serve, that's what you got to do here today. You got to give it all your all in all. Oh, I'm glad to tell somebody here today. My time is far spent. But I come out and remind you, you got to be committed. We need some more committed Caleb's here today. We need some more committed folk here today. We need some folk here that's going to be committed to the call upon their life. And you see, he gives clear instruction. Caleb said, I'm as strong now. 45 years have gone by, but I'm still not going to waver on my faith. I'm still going to trust in the true and living God. And that's what you and I must do here today. We got to stand firm and stand on our conviction. Caleb said, give me this mountain. The enemy is still in the mountain. But that's all right. I'm going up there anyhow. It doesn't matter where it might be. If I got the Lord on my side, it doesn't matter what the enemy might do. I got the Lord on my side, I can make it here today. I wonder do I have any warriors here today with a made up mind. I'm going to be committed anyhow. I'm going to be committed to the call that's upon my life. I'm so glad oh Joshua and Caleb Caleb let us know I, I, I'm alive and well today. 45 years have gone by but I'm just still standing on the word of God. So that tell me uh, since some of you got saved time has passed Pass you by. Time is moving on, but you still got a made up mind. I'm as strong now as I was then. I'm as strong in my mind. I got a made up mind. I'm going to serve him anyhow. I'm going to serve the 
Lord until I die. Somebody says serving the Lord will pay off after a while. But I come out to tell you, serving the Lord will pay off right now. He's an on-time God. Oh, yes, he is. He woke me up this morning. He started me on my way. Oh, yes, he did. I got a bad knee uh, that's been aching a few days ago. But I declared the other day in the name of Jesus, I'm going to keep on going anyhow. I got to carry eight with me, but I'm going on in Jesus' name anyhow. I made up my mind. You're just going to have to ache, but I got work to do. I got assignment to carry out. I got to go before my people. I got to go before the Lord's people, and I got to tell them that he is alive and well, sitting at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for me and for you. Are you committed today? Can the Lord count on you? Has the Lord blessed you? Has the Lord kept you? Has the Lord made a way for you? Then you ought to tell him, thank you. Thank you for being my Savior. Thank you for being my God. Thank you for being my provider. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.